All right, today I'm gonna to show you guys how to create a product video that looks like this. All right, so I've been holding onto this tutorial for two months now, been waiting for my client to launch the skateboard and release it and announce it, and it's been killing me just to share it with you guys. I really hope that you enjoy this and that this is a valuable tutorial for you because I think this is a really cool technique that I came up with. I'm working with Bear Walker, who creates these awesome custom skateboards. Right now this is deconstructed, but as you can see, this side right here looks dope as Right, get the bang, whatever. It doesn't matter, I'm really tired. We've already shot another video today, so we are rolling on video two. That's why I'm dressed the same in all my videos. And so the concept that I had was, imagine this. It's a dark, misty morning, just joking. So the box is gonna be spinning by itself, and then it's gonna open up, and then this board is gonna be spinning, rotating out of the box, and as it's doing that, all the parts are gonna go ding, 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 and then it's gonna stop. I'm gonna walk in and be like, oh, cool, and catch the board, right? And the way that we're doing that is we've taken fishing line, and we're running fishing line from here to here, like with this angle, which we like when we're spinning it. We have some, a roll of tape here to kind of make a center, bridge so we can spin from right here and all we're doing is rotating on this green screen like so and we're just spinning it and so we got our little bar light right here that's lighting underneath because the box is gonna be glowing then we have our aperture 300d and that is pretty much our other main light source uh, that's our key light and that's aperture 300d light dome with the godox then we have this huge diffusion right here but this diffusion is only hitting back here we're really focusing on it to just light the the background the green screen so it's nice and even ish even ish enough and then we have our we got our godox on a fresnel and it is just running as our rim light for the board. So it's nice and pretty, and we're just gonna spin it, and that's all we're gonna do today, and we're gonna pick back up tomorrow to see if it worked out with the idea that I had, and we don't know, so. Okie dokie, and that's what I say. It's been a long day, not trying to rhyme. Okay, so. <laughs> What we're doing now is I took the footage, looked all of it, looked at all of it, and we we're like, hey, this works. And now we are getting all the parts spinning and that's a lot of fun. And so what we're doing is we took the barbecue skewer, painted it green, and then hot glue gunned the, the, each of the bolts and nuts onto it like this. And then we're just getting shots of the macro. And then we have also used the string, which we have disconnected now, but I'll just explain it to you really fast. Yeah really heavy and we just tied the wheel to here and then we just spun the wheel in a circle and we also what you'll see and we also did the trucks with the wheels on and off and so I'm figuring as I'm making this up as I go because I really don't know if anything's gonna work ever that is kind of all about experimenting and doing new things that are cutting edge but that is the plan Stan I don't know who I'm supposed to look at I look at you I look at the camera it doesn't matter We just are finishing the last shot of the last scenario, which is the box is opening magically by itself. No Austin in it. Sometimes people don't want my face in the product video, which I understand. So we have different options. And what we did is we just taped the box like so with the fishing line and it's connected to a pulley right up there, which Kendall will now show. And Kendall's gonna be pulling this and this is just gonna open up. Ta-da, we, whoops, ta-da, it did work. We already did it. And I'm gonna pan up and then that's where we're gonna show the skateboard float up with all the pieces. Doom. Boom, bear walker. Easy peasy, three lemons. Yeah, I don't know why me and Kendall used to, I'm just a weird person, I say a lot of weird stuff, so just get used to it now, I guess. I, this is gonna go on for a while. Oh, and yeah, the lighting has not changed. This was just our last shot. We put the black acrylic sheet that I have, I bought 
Um, a very thin one I got, but it's reflective. So it just gives a little bit more class to the matter. We didn't do that for the other ones because throwing a board down onto black acrylic is gonna be a end game for your black acrylic and it's not gonna work well. Um, besides that, I'm trying to think of anything else. That is it. Alrighty, so unfortunately the ideas that I had all did not work. And the reason why they didn't work, foolish of me, is because we were attaching the string onto the trucks or in the hole right here and the string would have to cross. And since it was at an angle, the string would be at a plane. And the only way to remove the string that I know of is simple wire removal. But the problem is simple wire removal is a mirroring effect. And when anything comes at an angle, it starts to make this very weird look on the board and it just looked cheap. So unfortunately we had to shoot again, but that's all about filmmaking and experimenting is trying things and trying to find the things that work right. So keep experimenting. So what I did, and I'm really sorry about doing this to your work of art, Bear Walker, but this is the only way I can get it to work out of my head. I tried to wrap my head around so many things before I did this, but I took a drill and drilled a really small hole right at the top right here and tied the string up and then we used two C stands and we're just letting it hang and then Kendall's gently spinning it smoother than me because I'm not good at it that's why she was doing it just like that our lighting has stayed relatively the same pretty much the same idea where we have the aperture 300d on the dome with the grid hitting as our key light then we have a really soft fill light with the diffusion just very light because we want to make this edgy we have the background being lit right now by the 300d on the lantern it's pointing that way and then we're just using this tube as our backlight simple three lighting plus background light setup and um what we're doing is we're doing spinning this and then we're spinning each part separately so the trucks next one at a time then a wheel one at a time because my what i'm imagining now with it is that it's going to kind of build as it's spinning we're gonna have the parts fly in and the way that we're going to do it is by lining up the shots hopefully hopefully and it looking like it's being built in the air kind of like you see those little lego guys in the lego movie go tuk, 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 right in the air that's what we're doing that's what we're doing you can't see that one that was a hidden thumbs up so um yeah i think that's it hopefully this works Anything Kendall wants is it, no. Oh, I'm shooting on a green screen, just like I did with the other one is because this board is gonna be in a black backdrop that is coming out of a box, which is pretty cool. And then I hopefully, the whole idea is that I'm gonna catch it at the end and be like, yeah. After shooting the video and putting it together, I actually realized that we didn't get enough detail of the board and design as much as I wanted to. So Kendall and I went back in and took my probe lens and set it up with a skateboard where we were taking my slider and then sliding across the top of the grip tape and Kendall had the skateboard on a foam roller and we we're just moving it back and forth to kind of mimic the motion of the rolling and that's how we got this close up shot right here. Now I'm gonna take you guys a little bit into the editing process and how I achieved this video. So first, what I did was I took all the different steps of the skateboard being built, of the one with just the board, the one with the trucks in the board, the one with all the trucks in the wheels, and then the one with the board being finished. And I took those into After Effects and I used Key Light created a mask around it and then removed the green screen. And then from there, I kind of finessed it a little bit to make sure that the string wasn't showing from where we were hanging it. Then we removed the green screen from all the skateboard parts doing the same process. After that, I brought all the pieces back into Premiere and matched it with the box shot, masking the edge of the box while it was opening and creating keyframes of the skateboard parts allowed for the parts to look like they're flying out of the box into the air. This took a little bit of adjusting to do. From there, each time I wanted a piece of the board built, I would simply keyframe the part that I needed and have it quickly fly, fly towards the board. I would then take the next shot of the board that was built and match that to the rotation of the shot before, and then just simply cut it so it looked like the board was building itself in air. I did this for each part and scene, then I added directional blur to all the fast movements to add a little bit of believability to it. So how did we get the shot where I ended up catching the board at the end? Well, what we did is me and Kendall did this multiple times, knowing the board was gonna be being built 
over above me. I had Gendel stand on a ladder and she would toss the board to me as I was looking up in the air as if the board was above me. And after tossing it multiple times and doing multiple takes, what I did is I took the best take and I matched the board that was being built in the air and keyframed it so it would make it into the same shape, size, and position when it's landing. Then I simply used the positioning tool with a shot where I catch it and slid it up into frame and then match the board so it looks like I'm catching it. This one shot scene ended up being about 20 separate shots to create. Then with a little bit of patience and editing, I was able to make it look like it was one shot by itself. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing. Until next time.